Hello friends and welcome back and uh, this is a uh, I guess a uh, collections video this is my VHS collection of screener titles and uh, I had a friend of mine Mr. Bruce asked me to uh, make a video of just some of my screeners he said he's not seen too many screeners he doesn't really collect them but he was wanting to kind of see a video of just what screeners I have got and all these are full movie screeners and pretty much they were just uh, pretty much the back in the day when they had the video stores they would send these the companies would send these screeners out for the uh, I guess the people that work there own the stores to kind of check out you know see how the movie is before they buy like a whole bunch of copies is is from my understanding so they send out a lot of these screeners and sometimes you'll come across them like when you go to stores and and what it was my uh, one of my uncles actually owned a video store for a little while where I live. So when he passed away, they pretty much kept all their screeners because you're really not allowed to sell them or rent them back in the day. So the family kind of kept them. And whenever they'd have a yard sale, I might go and uh, check out their yard sale. I might grab them for like a quarter or something. I'd always try to grab some of the screeners because I thought they were kind of cool. So, And this is a video for Mr. Bruce. I'll kind of leave his... Uh, He's got a channel too, and he does a good job showing off his VHSs. So uh, I'll leave his his uh, link below, so y'all go subscribe to him. And uh, this sort of this, like I said, this is just a video because he was wanting to see some of my screeners that I actually got. So uh, here we go. And I probably showed some of these in another video, but since he was wanting to see, I just figured I'd show them again. And uh, here's my pro promotional screener for Jack B. Nimble. And this is seems like a hard one to get. This has got a Lexus Arquette in it, which was, uh, let me think here, David Arquette and some of them, like, brother, I believe. And uh, he was a very, uh, kind of an odd actor, his backstory and stuff. Y'all might want to look him up, Alexis Arquette. It was just kind of an odd story, you know. But uh, this movie's actually pretty good, Jack B. Nimble. It's been a, been a little while since I've seen it, but I remember enjoying This is a supernatural gothic horror. And, of course, it's a screener, so pretty cool. There you go. We'll check it out see. Make sure it's the true tape. Sometimes I get my tape switched up. But there it is, Jack B. Nimble. And I don't know how I'm trying to... And it's a uh, the borough, Thri borough. Never heard of that, but pretty cool. I like the artwork on this, and I thought that was kind of cool. So that's Alexis Arquette and Jack B. Nimble, promotional screener. Up next is Dolph Lundgren and Patathlon. Uh, Berlin Patath. Uh, pa <laughs> Pentathlon. I don't know. I'm sorry, but <laughs> full length screener. Play to win. If you lose, you die. <laughs> but uh, pretty cool cover with uh, Dolph there and that kind of gold medal in front of him. They're like he's eyeing it up, trying to win that exclusive video premiere. Buy three, save twenty five dollars. There you go. Ninety day per uh, pay per view and and uh, eight month cable hold back. So there you go. If you can, if you get this one, it'll give you a little time to make your money back by renting it. It kind of tells that. So you know, if it was back in the day, you got at least ninety days before they put it on the pay per view. I guess so. You've got ninety days to rent it before anybody else can watch it. You know. So, uh, you've got 90 days to rent this without anybody else being able to get it. So, that's kind of what they put that, from my understanding. So, pretty cool. And that's a cool, full leak screener. Mr. Dolph Lundgren. Here's another one from the director of Pitch Black. It's uh, U571 meets Poltergeist. Demo tape, box art, may vary below. Full length screener for video retailers only. Pretty cool. Six feet, uh, 600 feet beneath the surface, terror runs deep. I actually like this pretty good. It's called, it's about like a haunted submarine movie. It's pretty cool. I thought it was a pretty good movie myself. I enjoyed it. 
So that's below. And that's my full length screener for this movie or demo tape. Here's Silent Hunter with Miles O'Keefe and Fred Williamson, the man. Promotional copy, not for sale or rental. So if you buy this or rent this movie, please call this number. Pretty cool. There you go. There's old Fred, the man. Look at that. He's getting ready to shoot somebody. That's the hammer, Fred. The hammer, Williamson. Used to really enjoy him in a lot of his movies. Whoop. There you go. Pretty cool. That's Silent Hunter. At 10,000 feet, silence is deadly. Demo tape, uh, nearly 15 million. Wow, pretty good. This is Wes Craven's They, and I pretty much, I like this movie pretty good. And I tell you the story to some of these free with purchase. So what the, the video store, Dollar Video, used to do back in the day, like if you go buy one of their movies for $10, you can pick one of these screeners up for free. So they, they weren't really selling the screeners, but to get them, you had to go buy a movie. So they're kind of making you buy something to get the screener. So it isn't really free, but you're getting another movie. So you could get, you know, usually the, the, whenever they, whenever they got their titles and they went back and they were getting ready to like, oh, we've got too many of this and they would sell them. That's what they would do. They would throw these out there. So I would get a pretty new movie plus this for free at dollar video that's what they used to do that's why i've got some of these too uh full length screener for video rental only like i said i like this one pretty good it wasn't too bad kind of like uh i don't know kind of i don't know it kind of looked like um the ring maybe one of those kind of look like kind of like a japanese horror movies the way it looked to me it was kind of creepy but I thought it was it had a few pretty good jump scares in it and stuff. But that's they, and that's my demo tape of it. Then I've got Beverly Cop, Beverly Hills Cop Three with Eddie Murphy, and I used to really like these pretty good. Uh, for distribution, promotion use only. Do not sell, rental, uh, duplicate, or public performance. Whatever. I don't know what that this uh, screening can said is being provided to you constantly of. Uh, paramount home video and bleep 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 nothing was on there but uh pretty cool eddie murphy's back where the action is over 41 million at the box office so there we go it's got judge reinhold on there too you know classic actor there so that is beverly hills cop three pretty cool Here's the one that started it all. He's seen this video in there, and I showed him that it was a screener, and that's when he, uh, Mr. Bruce, kind of wanted to see my screeners. So we've seen this in not too long ago. This is the Hudsucker Proxy, and of course it's got Bruce Campbell in it. But uh, pretty good little oddball movie. A goofy masterpiece, so pretty cool. Here's Death Machine, and this one's kind of embossed, embossed, whatever you want to say. That hand coming out of there, and the water, and the blood coming off of it. It feeds on your fear. Watch to win five thousand dollars. Wow! There you go. Death Machine. Uh, buy three, save thirty dollars. So that's not bad. Nineteen ninety-five theatrical release. Screener, screener trailer, not for rent or sale. There you go. So pretty cool. I kind of like that cover though. You can kind of see the pretty neat for deaf machines. Pretty decent movie, sci-fi horror kind of movie. Now I've got a couple here that are pretty good. These last two. This one's Rumpelstiltskin. Uh, not for uh, resale or rental or promotional use only. And I barely could read that because it's really... <laughs> but Rumpelstiltskin, pretty cool. Screener here. Buy three, get one free. So there you go. Go ahead and get you three and get one free. 
pretty cool little uh, oddball horror movie. Oh, and this one's the one that kind of opens up. It's a it's a scream come true. Pretty cool. There's old Rumpelstiltskin, I guess, kind of like a Leprechaun movie, I guess. I don't know. Just a very uh, odd movie. Pretty fun, though. Kind of crazy kind of movie. And last but not least, probably my favorite screener that I've got is Tix. From the director of uh, Hellbound Hellraiser 2. Pretty cool, and there's the Tix. Not for resale or rental promotional use only. Um, duplicated in extended play. 93 theatrical theatrical release. And dun da da. This one's got one of these cool fold out. I like them when they do this. Featuring the star of Witchboard 2, which is Amy Dolan's. Is I believe how you say her name. I think she's right. At, yeah, Amy Dolan. Dolan's is, I guess. I'm not really for sure. Fantic for cash. Pretty cool. Uh, watch Tick Screener to win up to 1,000 cash instantly. And I didn't win it when I watched it. No, I'm just... <laughs> I, like, I got this movie way after the, uh, that thing was done. And I kind of like the, this one and the Rumpelstiltskin are probably my favorite one just because they have that cool fold out. And here's telling some more information about it. Pre-order date, May 4th. Street date, May 25th, 25th. So pretty cool. I wish this one was in a little better shape, but I'm not going to complain pretty cool deluxe five uh, double-sided ticks and head standy so you could get both of those uh, standy things to put in your uh, rental store pretty cool Whoop. i guess that'll be it for my video i hope this uh uh mr bruise i hope this helps you out and just show you a cool video and like i said i'll leave another link to his um his um, channel so y'all can go check him out and go check him out he does a really good job on his vhs's and this was for him he kind of wanted to see my screeners like i said before so i figured i'd show a few off i've got a few more and i've got some dvd screeners i just have to put them together these are the ones i can find i actually have some more vhs's but these are just the ones that i i found i've got so many in my collection i haven't trying to run through and find them all but since he wanted me to make the video, I figured I would. So uh, that'll be it for my, my VHS screener videos. Until next time, have a good one and see ya.